Yo, boy, Marshall, boy, oh, boy, do you know what today is? Yeah, no, uh, well, wait, wait, let me, let me see, let me see if I can guess. All right, um, it's not your birthday, it's not my birthday, uh, it's not payday, uh, it's not 9-11, uh, I don't know, uh, it's not Hitler's birthday, so it can't be anything good or exciting, I don't know what, what fucking day is it? Today's the day we get to interview relationship guru and old white supremacist, Dante Nero. In fact, he should be calling in any minute here. Oh? I, I've never fucking heard of him. Why, why, why do you bring me the most obscure fucking people in the world? I mean, we, we are clout chasers, all right? We, we need somebody that we can clout chase off of. We need to... Like punching up, we need to ride up coattails. We can't ride down coattails. All right. How did your How did your meeting with Owen go? Oh, he went really good, Mersh. In fact, he may be coming on to co-host the. I mean, he he might be coming on the show sometime. Royce, is is there some kind of secret that you're keeping from me? I just realized I I still have my eyeball. Hold on, real quick. <laughs> All right, there. Continuity fix. We don't want people writing about this in our, our Reddit that we made some kind of mistake. Jesus Christ, Mersh, that was disgusting. Why, why wouldn't you just reshoot that? Why, why would you make me watch that whole thing? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, he's calling! Quick, quick, push the button, Mersh! Push the button! Hey, yo, what's happening? It's Dante. Ah, uh, are you... Are you in a bathroom? Yeah, it's called the Power Move. I right? if if you watch my new series with AGTV, you know I do all my phoners from the inside of a bathroom. That's my way of showing dominance that I'm better than you, and y'all is just a bunch of losers. Now what's up? I only got about ten minutes before I gotta get off my break and get back to Verizon. Oh, hey there, Dante. Um, my name is Royce, and I'm really excited to meet you. I, I really, I'm so happy you're here. Uh, I understand that you're a pimp and a relationship guru, and uh, I just wanted to know, like, can you help me uh, have sex with my wife? Yeah, I, I can do a consultation. Um, so first of all, uh, what you want to do is stop masturbating, all right? It's evil. And it's in the Bible. You don't want to do that. It, it leads to impure thoughts and you become less aggressive. And women like men that are super aggressive these days. Then what you want to do is join a white supremacist group. I recommend the Proud Boys, which is featured in my new movie, Black Panther 2, where I play the beige hippo. So once you're in the group, then you're going to get a book and you're going to start reading it to your wife. You want to get something real boring like Pat Buchanan. And you read that to her till she falls asleep. And then while she's laying there, you take her clothes off and you rape her. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, I see what he's saying. You, you know, he said that you got to read books so you can be more interesting and that way you can attract the women. There you go. The fat dumpy one knows what I'm saying. I mean, you both kind of fit, but it seems like he has more meals. You know, Moich, um, you kind of look familiar. Have you ever been part of the New York comedy scene? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was an uh, open micer for a while. Yeah, I, I, you know, it's pretty cool. You remember me? I was, uh, I was out there. I was doing some things. I uh, working with the Jim Norton, and I was on Sirius XM. I was on Compound. You know, I opened for Duck Stan Hope. Uh, recorded an album that uh, I, I kind of never never got around to releasing. But it, you know, those those days are behind me. I mean, it just, it got a little too spurgy for me. Like all, all the all the comics were just way too spurgy. They're just a bunch of spurgs, spurging out, spurgity, spurg, spurg, spurg. So, uh, you know, I got out of there and I joined YouTube where it's way more lit, way fresher, man. Like they don't have to deal with any spurgs around here. Yeah, you know, if you have a problem with spurgs, there's spurgicide gel that you could rub on the inside of a lady that will make sure she doesn't get pregnant. Oh, wow, I never thought about that. These are just like gems dropping down from heaven. Thank you, Dante. You are so smart. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm not talking about sperm. 
talking about Spurgs, like Aspergers, like Spurgy retard comics. I got, I got tired of the retard comics. Yeah, it's never a good idea to put spoiling in the comics, so I basically know exactly what you're saying. I'm actually like the greatest comedian in New York. You should ask about me. Everybody looks up to me. All of them. Kurt Metzger, Louis J. Gomez, um, oh, that old grandpa guy that hangs out with Amy Schumer, Carwin Quinn, they all look up to me now. I used to be like you, a loser, but now I'm the king of New York. Oh man, that sounds so cool. I'm so happy we're talking to a real comic and not one of those manufactured retards that Comedy Central just pumps out. See, Dante, uh, tell us about your role in this new movie, Black Panther 2. Yeah, I'm in that movie. It's based off the Black Panthers. I invented that. Did you know that? I invented the Panthers? Yeah, because it's like, if you act like a pussy, you're going to get fucked. And I was like, y'all black folks is acting like a bunch of pussies. So y'all getting fucked. So why don't you be a bigger pussy cat? Why don't you be something that's dangerous? And somebody was like, like a panther? And I was like, yeah, be the black panthers. And that's the history lesson of how I started the black panthers. And now this documentary about their rise stars me, Dante Nero, as the beige hippo. What happens is after Fano snaps his fingers, there's nobody to leave Wakanda for like 18 months. So I roll up there with my crew, the Proud Boys, and we take over. It's kind of like Scar in The Lion King, except instead of hyenas, I got a bunch of white dudes that don't masturbate. And we get all up in Pride Rock and make some beige babies. Oh my god, that's so cool. I, I can't believe I'm talking to a real life Marvel action figure. Ah, <laughs> my life is a nightmare and I hate all of you. <laughs> yeah, have you tried uh, not masturbating? I really feel like that can help you turn your life around. You know, life is like laying a bunch of bricks. Like you lay your first brick, it's not that good. But by the time you've laid a million bricks, you're way better at laying bricks and stuff. And once you stop masturbating, you have free hands to put bricks down. You know what I'm saying? So profound. Uh, are, are you sure you're not a Spurg? I mean, I used to be, but then I made it to the uterus and I turned into a beige buffalo. Everybody's a Spurg when they start out. Didn't you know that? That's basic science, stupid. Yeah, Mersh, didn't you know that, you fucking idiot? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't you turn on me just because just some celebrity dickwad is here. All right, you know, you know what, Dante? We're going to let you go. All right, later. Did you just hang up on him? We still had three more minutes left. Yeah, it's whatever, man. He was a Spurg. He's a fucking Spurg, all right? I, I hung up on a Spurg, and we got rid of him. It's, it's fine, all right? Jesus fucking Christ. Cry about it, you little baby. God damn it, Burst. There was, there was a consultation, all right? I, I paid for that. It cost me $255 to get him here, you fucking idiot. You did what? How, how the fuck do you have 250? I don't have 50 cents in my pocket. And you're over here blowing money on fucking guests? How, how the fuck do you have money? This is what you do, Mersh. This is what you do. You chase people away because you don't want anyone to come close and you don't want anybody else to be the star of anything. You just have to be the center of attention. <laughs> All right, well, before we get out of here, I just, I have a quick update. We got a video message from your eye and, and our missing couch. Apparently they're hanging out and backpacking across the Bahamas. <laughs> right, right. Uh, okay, okay, let, let's see this fucking video. Huh? How do they have bitches? God damn it. What the fuck? How come they can get women and I can't? Son of a bit, uh, son of a bit, uh, son of a bit, uh, uh, gun. <laughs> you thought I was gonna say uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> hey guys, it's me, Ross Dog. Don't forget to subscribe to the RDA LLC. With apologies, we'll be coming back this week. Sorry about the interruption. All right, let's look at those hot babes in that eye again. Uh -huh.